These Supreme Court nominees are obviously important to your organization, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Well, because the Supreme Court often has the final say on matters of public policy. Yeah. You know, religious freedom, freedom of speech, yeah. right to life. I mean, all those decisions are going to end up before the Supreme Court. Donald Trump had his first pick, Gorsuch. Mm -hmm. All went pretty smoothly. Yes. Is, did you expect that to happen this time? No, I expected this to happen last time. The, the women who are making these accusations have every right to be heard, and they should be heard. And their allegations should be taken seriously and should be treated seriously. What we can't do is allow people to just simply keep delaying action on the nomination by waiting until the last minute. Do you I think mean, witnesses would just keep popping up no matter how ba long it Based is. on what we've seen so far, I think there's not only a, a likelihood of that, I think there's a certainty of it. When you have people like Michael Avenatti, and Brian Fallon, who is a former Clinton operative, who's running one of the organizations opposed to Kavanaugh's confirmation, saying that the playbook is to kill his nomination and then to win the midterms in order to deny President Trump an additional Supreme Court pick, it looks like a political campaign.